Okay, example four. We're going to write an equation for and graph a parabola with the given characteristics. Okay, in letter A, we have a focus of negative 6, 2 and a vertex of negative 6, negative 1. First thing I like to do is graph the vertex. I'm going to go left 6 and down 1. And then my focus is negative 6, positive 2. So I'm going to go left 6 and up 2. Because the focus is directly above the vertex, this tells me that my parabola is going to open up. Okay. If the parabola opens up, then the standard form of my conic is x minus h quantity squared equals 4p times the quantity y minus k. H and K are the vertex. So this is X minus, okay, now H is negative six. The opposite of negative six is a positive six. Four times P, now P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So if I count from vertex to focus, one, two, three, P is three. And I have y minus k, or y minus k is negative 1. y minus negative 1 is a positive 1. Okay. Now, if I simplify, I have y plus 6 quantity squared equals 12 times the quantity y plus 1. Now, the length of the LR is the absolute value of 4p. The absolute value of 4p is absolute value of 12. That is equal to 12. Okay, that means half of 12 is 6. So from my focus, I count right 6. And I count left 6. So if I were to count from one endpoint of the LR to the other, it would be 12 units long. And I have a graph of my parabola. Now in letter B, I have a focus at 5, negative 2 and a vertex at 9, negative 2. I'm going to plot the vertex first, so I'm going to go right 9 and down 2. And my focus is 5, negative 2, so I'm going to go right 5, down 2. Because the focus is to the left of the vertex, I know this parabola opens left. And if it opens left, standard form is y minus k squared equal to 4p times the quantity x minus h. Now, p is the distance from the center to the vertex excuse me, from the vertex to the focus. So it is one, two, three, four units from the vertex to the focus. So P is equal to four. That means four P or four times four is 16. Now, if we plug all of this into the equation, I have y minus k first. Vertex, recall, is hk. Your k value is negative 2. So this becomes y plus 2 quantity squared equal to 4p is 16. And since the parabola opens to the left, 4p has to be negative. That's negative 16. And then we have x minus 9. Okay, length of the LR is the absolute value of 4p. So that's the absolute value of negative 16, which equals 16. Okay, half of 16 is eight. So from my focus, I'm gonna count up eight, and I'm gonna count down eight. 
so that from one endpoint of the LR to the other, it has a length of 16 units. And then I connect the vertex with the endpoints of the LR, and we have a graph of the parabola.